The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. <laughs> the echoing was coming from me. It's if you're working hearing now. It, you're hearing it. Oh wait, I pressed, the, I pressed the, I pressed the laughing Klingons. Oh, you did. I had the, I had the stream playing. I, didn't, I was like, oh fuck. Why are you <laughs> not come, Boomer? Why are you non come through system? Huh? Why are you not? Come through system? I would have punched Dumbledore in his dick if I saw him clapping like that at me. <laughs> um, I response. love that Perry Chan video that he put out about the clapping on the Alex Jones show. Um, that was hilarious because I saw that live and I saw Az's face and I lost my ish because I knew what he was laughing at. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You None of you know Gary's what we were laughing at. Gary's no, you don't. We'll, we'll go ahead and go with that theory, though. That's good. That's yeah. a really good theory on what we were yeah. laughing at. <laughs> I thought it, I thought uh, you'll it was never know. Theory. And it was nothing. Nobody's nobody's even close. Nobody knows what we were actually laughing at. I thought it was the laugh track not working. Or not laughing. No, while that was that, funny, but... while that was funny, it was something I, else. I sent as a message. <laughs> oh, it was a meme. Okay. Order black. He sent me a message too. on the phone, and I got it. But just at yeah. that time, I read it. As was the then I text. Then message. I text Gary back, and it was all happening during this 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 bit. So it just serendipitously. It just worked like that. I just oh. I just looked at something. I went, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's I love that organic comedy. Like it, you can never. That's what we. Of... Hey, that's what happens when nothing's planned, Nina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it either goes to complete shit, or, <laughs> and it's funny, or it goes as planned and it's funny. It's that's usually right. funnier when it goes to complete shit. To be honest with you, uh, yeah. Chat. There's no Mola today. Mola unfortunately was out walking in the desert, and he came across a laser wire. And he has no idea how to get past it. Somebody get us a shitload of dimes over here. Go he's around, Mahler. Go around. It. He's pressing buttons. He's <laughs> flipping up. Oh, nothing. He's stuck Nothing's there. Nothing's working. He's, he's got all his tentacles on it. And he can't been, get around. He's been it. around to the other side to see if he can <laughs> deactivate it that <laughs> way. <laughs> oh, he went around. Okay. Um, so he's back again. You know, he's, he's come back, back again. again. He's just standing there. Going, what do I do? <laughs> well, I don't I'm know flummoxed. what to do with this thing. <laughs> Wait, Quarter Black made a made a hang on. Quarter Black made a little meme yesterday. Can I just bring up on my Discord? Hey, you know, I, I figured out Discord when it was just in time to leave it and go to that other one. That's funny. Isn't that always well, how it I'm, works? Well, I'm 52. I'm surprised I'm even can figure out Discord. These are uh, a few uh, of my favorite things. Let's see if I can. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, I'm going to start the show with an advert. Okay. I'm going to start the show with an advert while you're fanning around. Why, why I'm fucking around. That's this me. is a, an app. Look at this. It's a comic strip. It's Peeping Tom in Double Trouble. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ron, <laughs> so and it's Ron got Rainey, product placement. Known to movie buffs as the man with 999 faces, 
has retired from the silver screen, but not from his love of disguises. Egad! I look perfect wearing this peeping tong costume. I can steal anything I want to become rich while peeping Tom takes all the blame. <laughs> <laughs> well, peeping Tom has stolen millions in two weeks. It's a crime wave. Peeping Tom goes on rampage. As I can't believe this is about peeping Tom. Neither can I, Garrett. But I do have a plan. I have a hunch the fake peeping Tom won't be able to resist this nerd erotic geek grind coffee. Oh, <laughs> that <laughs> night. <laughs> Aha, there he is right on time. All right, you phony. I've caught you red handed. Now I'm taking you in. It may be curtains for him, but you can't beat a delicious cup of nerd erotic all hail private blend coffee. Links on someone else's camera. Get yours today. Thanks for shilling for me, as there you go. Us, Aww. hey, uh, yeah. I, I've got that picture. Okay, and I put uh, that video in the private chat if it's you want. It's probably not oh, even gonna, okay. Gar Garrett made this, so he's a good boy. Let's have a look at what you have got. There it is. So he has to go back and get a shitload of dye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, no, I just want to watch Blazing Saddles. I know, dude. Oh, uh, they don't make them like they used to. No, they definitely don't I make really them like know. Blazing Saddles. Mm -mm. I woke up today. <laughs> this is weird. But I woke up today thinking, oh, why don't they ever have that Pogue song at Christmas anymore? With um, the Kirsty McCall. And I was like, Did you oh. just say poaxed? What poaxed? Pogues. Pogues. Oh, I don't know what that is. I With Kirsty McCall. And uh, then, sure I, then I was going through the no. lyrics and I was like, oh, yeah. The Pogues, no, they're different. That's right. What, they, did they get canceled? Well, one of, the, one of the lyrics in it is, you cheap, lousy bundle of sticks. Oh yeah, because you know. Oh God, he's got. Some, I forgot the pogs. He's got some British taste. I think he had him. I think he had him done. That's almost like sad. twenty years ago, fifteen years God, ago. I haven't like, thought about the pogs in two decades, dude. Long time. Oh, I've never even heard them. Oh my God, oh. there's a mosquito flying around me. I have to kill it. And on that bombshell, yeah, okay. thank you for watching. Okay. And Nina Infinity uh, is gone. Who's never seen West again. Nile virus. <laughs> yeah. It's the like, mosquito beat the shit dude, out of her. She's just, that, was, that was a thing here because we have dengue here. So like when 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 they have a... Uh, they, Sorry, they you have what here? Dengue what? fever. So they have like... Gay fever? Does it, does it, does does it just happen in fever? June? Den is it just a June thing? <laughs> no, it's dengue. <laughs> we and got like, dengue fever. <laughs> You know, and if, we got dengue trans fever <laughs> come around in June time. You know what I'm talking about. And fucking Zika. And they transmit through like mosquitoes. So when the COVID thing was happening, that happens here like way more often than COVID. So it was like, that's an actual worry. And then they were making a big deal out of COVID. And we were like, we have other bigger problems like mosquitoes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's we the got story. them here too. What, gays or mosquitoes? Uh, <laughs> uh, we have gay mosquitoes. Wow. But they're oh my god! They're in I Texas. Heard... They, they have the right to bear arms. So I heard they're that big. there's some conspiracy stuff happening with mosquitoes, which would have been a good topic for you with Alex Jones, but I forgot to, to send it to you. I mean, it was someday... too busy laughing at pictures. On... <laughs> yeah, he's too busy <laughs> taking his shirt off and simping for x-ray girl. I saw and that. Chrissy, which was great. So that was hilarious. I cannot believe he took his shirt off. That was amazing. Yeah. I never thought Nips I would see that. Nips out and everything. I yes. never thought I would see that. Alex Jones nipple. I could, I mean, like, I'm professionally, I'm good. I'm that's like all I need. That's like all the, gravy yeah, after that's this. your high. Yeah. That's your high. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. It's nice to see uh, somebody, uh, a man hitting on some women. <laughs> I think <laughs> everyone was kind of hoping that X ray girl would take her shirt off just so alex everybody 
feel lonely, but everybody's hoping that every episode. <laughs> But only Mark gets to see that. Okay. Only Mark gets to see them. Good. He's locked it down like the smart boy that he is. So speaking of which, X-ray girl got monetized yesterday. So congratulations, X-ray oh, very girl. Very good. And what? On her YouTube channel. I don't have to go anymore. That was like awesome. A couple of weeks ago. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she was. That was a couple of weeks ago. You're only just finding out about it now. I mean, she was not throwing the... the party yesterday, and I went and super chatted her. I didn't yeah. know. So she threw the party yesterday, but she got money. No simping me. chat. That's what the chat's saying. Well, I'm sorry. It's okay. You know, one day when you're allowed at the big boys table, you'll find these things out. Okay. Well, it's okay. Don't feel bad. Jeremy still eats at the kitty table. And so yeah. does Ryan. So. <laughs> With his little nuggies and the nuggies. Hey, uh, dude, I cannot. I'll tell you what. I saw the uh, trailer for. Uh, for prey and wow oh. i mean oh boy yeah. I, I you know i got blocked by discussing film and i could i couldn't even tell you what i did you and eric july well, they oh blocked, my god they blocked eric because they're racist yes discussing we don't like that? black people film yep blocked eric july. obviously racist okay this is uh this I is didn't... amazing trailer of Prey. <laughs> that is not this... the trailer I saw. Oh, no, this isn't. No, what is this? This is a fan film that was made in 2019 yep. that just got ripped off by Sony. Uh, is it Sony that's making this? Yeah. HBO. So. No, it's uh, Warner. It's, it's uh, It's Disney. It's Fox. It's f it's Disney. Oh, shit. So Why it's is it going on, on Disney HBO Fox? then? No, it's oh, on no, Hulu. Oh, no, it's going on Hulu. All these things being with H confuse me. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, so so Disney just stole the idea from from some poor schmuck who made a very low budget there was a comic. Uh, Predator Woman movie. I, I can't, I don't know if it was a woman or not in the comic, though, but they, the Predator fought everybody. I think the Predator fought Abe Lincoln in the comics once. I have fought Predator once. Have you? I only fought an alien. I did all right. I got both my arms and legs cut off by the end. But I used I to play Alien vs. Predator all the time. That game Just was fucking awesome. Room. Just put a flesh room. I'll bite you. Did you ever play that, as? Aliens vs. Predator. No. That was good. It was a good game. Uh, I don't think there's been a good Predator game. It was fun when you played it with like a bunch of people, which I did. Playing, well, so was Dying Light too. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> if I was <laughs> playing it on my own, I would have I would have just quit after five yeah. minutes because it was garbage. But just yeah, playing remember... with the uh, Quarter Black and X Ray Girl and Perry Chan, that's just that's what makes the entertainment. That yeah, that's what makes it fun. Um, it's the company you keep, you know, some of those stuff. But it's just like, I remember when I would played it back in the day, like some of my friends were human and I was like, I'm not going to like pick humans. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Humans always die. Some of your friends were human. Is that yeah, they would pick the humans. Statement? They would pick the humans to play as. Some and of my friends are human. Some were aliens. <laughs> Most of them are alien. Um, do, do women count as aliens? Fuck yeah. No, we understand aliens more than we understand yeah. them. <laughs> Men are from Mars. Women are from go fuck yourself. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, I don't blame you. So I'm guessing that you're going to be first in line to buy one of those sex robots that was released earlier. Oh, fuck yeah. I'll get more sense out of that than anyone from fucking Twitter. <laughs> Pray the Elizabeth Warren documentary. Says I <laughs> wow. I thought it was Pray the um, Hillary Clinton biography. Okay. If you're a friend of Hillary Clinton, you definitely fucking pray. Look oh my god. Today. Yeah, don't mention her in a negative one. 57. Is it up to 57 now? A lot. I don't I don't know. I lost count. It's 56 or 57. We're up to Oh uh, what? Genders? No, friends of Hillary Clinton <laughs> that have mysteriously oh. <laughs> died. Uh Killary's hit list. Uh yeah. In genders that, that are infinity, so Gary. Didn't you hear? They're yeah, not infinite no, I genders. About it. Yeah, the guy who like um, shot himself in the chest while hanging from a tree. While hanging himself, yeah. yes, that's <laughs> impressive. Miles from his house. It's so weird how that happened. 
I was oh, 20 boy. miles from my house and I was feeling hey, a bit down hey. in the dump. So I thought I'd hang myself. He only and... let Epstein in the White House seven times. Okay. So it was That's not seven. that many. That's funny because <laughs> Prince Andrew said, I want to be inside seven. Okay. Never mind. Oh, no. Um, oh, God. Boris Johnson is prime minister still. Yeah. Good job. Don't I don't mean. understand your whole thing. The The party gets to vote, and they call it a confidence vote, but it's actually a no-confidence vote. You fucking Brits, dude. <laughs> it's a vote of no confidence, just like yeah. in a company, and he got more votes to say, well, I don't... But do you know what the votes were? They weren't, yes, we want to keep him, and no, we want to get rid of him. They were, no, we want to get rid of him, and we don't want the job. Wow. Okay. So, that, that's basically what it was. Nobody wants to take on this this job wants, yeah. right now. No way. That's well, that's why we do have Boris Johnson as a president. Well, I mean, that's that's. I mean, quite frankly, that's probably why Biden was installed. Uh, <coughs> voted in uh, as a one termer to do things that the big state wanted to do. It's my opinion. I'm crazy Welcome there. to the real BBC. Where we talk about <laughs> comics. <laughs> Where we talk about, I don't know, stuff and things. Uh, Gary, how you doing good, sir? I'm great. Still waking Looking up a little good. bit. Yeah, me too. Little grogs. It, it takes me to like two hours to wake up, to be honest with you. I'm on hour one. So I'm about 40 minutes away from being 100% awake, but I'm about 80% okay. awake. That's pretty good. Okay. Good enough to do a show. Ready Trust to go. Me, after, after we go through some of this shit, you'll wake up. Oh, hell yeah. It was like 100 <laughs> degrees last night. So mm. that was, that's, that's new. Get That's the one thing I got to get used to. Uh, I mean, I'm used mm. to like 70 degrees at night, but not eight, not 100. Oof. Yeah. Now, Mubi is, uh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. I should probably give the real reason for Mubi not being here. Uh, Mola has got the keys to his brand new house today. Yay! Congratulations, Molly. So yeah, he got he's uh, closed. Everything's closed. He got the key uh, to his house today. So you know he was going to be busy, but I said just don't bother. Just enjoy yeah. your dude, house, man. dude. Dude, go and uh, it, it's been a like super long process for him and big time. Really proud of him. Proud yeah, of your boy. So Aww. I'm actually going to be boarding at Baggin and boarding. Morley's comics because uh, he oh, said yeah? hold on to them until I got my new house. Oh, shit. Now I'll he's go got his new house. Didn't tell me you were going to actually bag and board today. Okay, I'm yeah. well, a little later. I'll, I'm going to run and get some comics. I'll go all grab right. a stack. All right, all right. Dude, all I have to say is rings of power and then just let you go. Yeah. Mm. And oh. then I'll just be bagging away like, mm hmm. You mean the video oh, I've been working on for three days? Because <laughs> a new oh. Empire article comes out every morning about the big empire article that's going to come out in two days, which I'm going to do a separate video on of all the fucking stupid that they've put out, including this Galadriel who's like sitting like she's got a 10 inch fucking sausage. Oh my uh, God. I saw that the dwarf she, she, female dwarf that we're not supposed to talk about at all. <laughs> she male? Lenny Henry. It looks like black snake own fucking hobbit. <laughs> oh, I saw I look that's, that's that tweet. I'm gonna catch my words very carefully here. I saw the picture of Lenny Henry and I was like, oh no. Uh, it, well, it's oh, from the video. I don't say no. a word in my video about like what it is because I'm too busy <sighs> laughing. <laughs> I, I thought I'd gone back I just uh, it in. 60 years in time when I saw that picture. I was like, oh boy. Mm. Um, mm. um the fact uh, that okay the weird thing about the article because now you got me started so it's your fault um they don't call them hobbits they say the harfoots are not uh, hobbits which what? they are the harfoots are <laughs> hobbits so they're like it's a predecessor to hobbit it's a hobbit like thing and then one comicbook.com calls it hobbit adjacent oh hobbit no. adjacent, which is now my new favorite phrase of all time let the memes begin Hobbit Hobbit adjacent. 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 Oh, oh my god. god you can't make so, this shit up no man. you can't so my guess is it's a rights issue like they can't call uh, them hobbits so they got to call them harfoots they have rights to harfoots but and they probably have like split rights to hobbits which mm -hmm. would be my guess and they don't want to share any money and it doesn't <laughs> matter because they don't really give a fuck anyway the harfoot shouldn't be in the story 
Uh, and the reason being is Tolkien would have put them in there if he meant them to be in there. It's not like this guy went, I just totally forgot about the hobbits, you know, and that's their, that's their logic for everything. Hey, how do I know Galadriel doesn't have a big 10 inch fucking sphincter? Uh, it's because <laughs> Tolkien wasn't specific about it. In he this could, day and age, he could age, have Gary? a giant dick and balls because in Tolkien never mentioned it in the appendices. Yeah. <clears throat> She could have a Tolkien wasn't a biologist. I don't fucking know because Tolkien didn't mention it. Obviously, he was just willy nilly forgetting about his shit while he was working at Oxford, raising a family, and writing his shit by hand. I did start off tonight. Hobbit adjacent. The, Hobbit does away. that mean the Harfoots? Like, does that mean they identify as hobbits? Is that what we're going with this? Uh. What is a hobbit? <laughs> that's that's this, this is correct. A it's a hobbit. <laughs> Charlie, bravo, sir. Bravo. That's good. That's good. Perfect. Perfect, Charlie. Perfect. Thank you. Hobbit flexible. Uh, yeah, you know what is a hobbit? There should be a whole fucking documentary now on what is a hobbit. That'd be funny. That's a good skit right there. Mm. Okay, well, I've, I've revved up your engine. We'll get we'll get back to it. He's uh, awake now. He's, he's awake. definitely awake now. <laughs> well, hello, uh, Nina. How you doing? I'm good. How are you, as? This is your bit, not my bit. Oh, okay. thank you so much. It's uh, it's great to be here. I just dropped a video on my channel yesterday for the RRR spoiler free mm. review. It was good. Really enjoyed it. So definitely go check it out. And uh, yeah, doing infinite hope, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here, always. And also, congratulations to you guys for your 200th show on FNT. That was fucking fantastic. It was such a good watch. Thank you. It was fun. I was you know, so tired. It was ridiculous. I was, I was wiped out for two days after that. Wow. Yeah. <sighs> okay, a lot well. of work. And you guys looked so good. I was like screaming. We had Looking our little ass looked on. like he was from Pulp Fiction. I was like, "What is he happening did. right now?" I got a few people say that as well. Sending me, sending me tweets doing Pulp Fiction shit. You looked like it, it was great. It was great. It was good Jeremy show. took his hat off. That was weird. I know weird. that was weird. weird. And then like Ryan with his little bow tie. I was yeah. like, "Is he going to the prom?" Like, "Hi, he, hi, are you going to?" He the did prom? look like he was going to the prom. <laughs> like, was like, with like his second cousin. <laughs> Maybe his first cousin. Um, Which was, is nice. Was that was great. Uh, and I am I am in the same room as I was before, but I'm set up all differently now. The office is done. Literally Yay. behind me, all there is is carpet. Space. I've got a... Well, apart from the cat toys, because Belle was going mental on it last night, so... Well, she, she enjoys the space too. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. very much so. So everything is gone. All the shite that was under desks, trust me, they're all gone. Uh, all gone. Mini fridge gone. Replaced by a new Warhammer cabinet. No. Nice. With the Warhammer things in where I used to do the videos, which was here. Uh, that has now become because it's the bigger space on this L-shaped table. That has now become the hobby area because all they used to do was just sit in this little corner here. And it was like all that area that was basically mugs. Just <laughs> mugs. Just mugs. So, just mugs. So I might as well go to the smaller table to do the videos like this. I uh, got rid of the uh, shelving there. That's now there, as you can see. Starting to, starting to put up some pictures and stuff on the uh, back wall there. Warhammer stuff is down here. Everything else is in storage. Uh, three webcams set up now. Ooh. So I got this one here. I've got uh, the C920 there and the document cam as well. Multi angle um, viewing. Multi angle viewing. And uh, yes, uh, new brand new monitors. Uh, the other ones have gone. I've got brand new monitors, brand new speakers. Uh, everything's been completely streamlined. The uh, DJI is uh, going to start coming to play soon as well, which is a mini vlogging camera, if you don't know what DJI is. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I was like, It's what? here. Well, I'll get it's a mini vlogging camera. It's literally a mini oh, vlogging camera. So cool. If I... 
Turn it on and activate it. Shkadoop. Oh, that's dope. Uh, so yeah, I've been uh, I've been uh, attaching that to my uh, iPhone. Which I'm I know make a statement iPhone. for a moment because <clears throat> I feel super objectified and offended Ooh. right now because a woman just asked me to smile. <gasps> smile. Smile more. Oh, you have such more? a pretty Dara. smile, Gary. Smile. Thanks. He has a lovely smile. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it's uh, oh, <clears throat> and the Elgato light, which is now operated by my PC. So, if I press this and click, doom, you could see it just come on in the background there. Ooh. Uh, the Elgato, I can adjust everything on that, is uh, up and running. Everything is up and running in the office. That's what he said. <laughs> Woo! Uh, big thanks to my uh, my broski who uh, who's been helping me coming up, and we've just been sorting all the house. So uh, yes, <clears throat> literally, I've just got menial tasks to do, some boxes to throw away, some dishes to uh, clean, and uh, everything is is uh, pretty much done uh, in the house now. Just gotta just gotta do a little bit of the bathroom. Uh, what was a little bit? Cleaner to... What's a li a little bit? A little bit. Look, I gotta do some. I gotta do some. Just a little bit of wiping down. That's it. <laughs> there is piss everywhere. Oh my god! Just all over the floor. God, boys all over so the walls. Yes, Sometimes I just literally open the window and piss out of it. Neighbors get really knocky about. I'm that. surprised you don't have just like bottles, like the milk jugs from Trailer Park Boys, <laughs> like fucking piss <laughs> jugs oh, everywhere. Okay, would be a fan expo. Yeah, They're all going to be a fan expo in Dallas. The Trailer Park Boys. I just really? saw it. Right? Yeah. Oh my god! I would. Oh my god! I would love to go to that. I love Kevin <laughs> Smith so is going to be there too. Should I go say hi to Kevin Smith? Oh yeah. What say about I Tom really King? loved Masters of the Universe. Joking. It was dog shit. <laughs> and should I see my, Tom my King bro too? Just text me when you're welcome. So he's clearly watching. Why not, story. Gary? Tom Why King's not make be the rounds? on round. the floor there. Should I go say hi to Tommy King? Why not oh, make the round? Tom, I loved your Batman run. Just joking. It was dog shit. It was it dog was shit. Gay. Oh, and by gay. the way, you need to get your fucking mummy issue sorted out yeah. big time. Therapy, brother. And and, Therapy. and have you raped any of your work colleagues yet, Tom? Oh, you promise, no. Remember, you promised not to? Have you renewed your pledge this year? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it like a passport? Does it run yeah, out after 10 years? <laughs> It's like oh, I shit, pledge. I my pledge runs out. I forgot to pledge. I wasn't going to rape my coworker this year. Damn it! Mm. Oh, and then on the back to, now, see everything's gone for the battle. So we got the uh, we got the uh, E fifty uh, cannon. Uh, then we got the dead cat. Then we have got the uh, dead essentially cat? the um, yeah dead. You don't know what a dead cat is? No, I don't know what that is. Uh, what's a dead cat? <sighs> a dead uh, cat. Besides being a the dead cat, furry yeah. cover that goes over a microphone. Oh. So when there's blustery weather outside, you don't get <sighs> because the, a... oh. the fur catches the. Oh. I didn't know that's what it was called. It's called oh, dead cat. Called a... Oh, that's okay. interesting. I thought it was just mm. called a muff. I would have called it a muff yeah. personally. <laughs> yeah. I like. Well, I kind of like him shaven. So, um... <laughs> well, it looks like a muff. <laughs> yeah, from the fucking 70s. I know. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. I'm not going to shave it before going out. <laughs> I thought you had a dead cat. I did, but I prefer to shave it. Mm. Awkward. Uh, and then the, that's the uh, mini cam, which straps onto my uh, body. Straps, straps on. <laughs> on. Help. <laughs> well, then you can see what you do. You me and Gary are so <laughs> immature. We're like, yeah, straps on. <laughs> but I str I put it on, and then I can record. The key Keep to talking. YouTubing: have the mentality of a twelve-year-old. Don't put those <laughs> ones up on YouTube. One, no. They don't go on YouTube. And then um, my resistance band, so I can do some resistance things. Mm. Muffin strap-ons. This isn't going well. Says Duck Fart. I completely agree. Mauler is here. Only fans. <laughs> oh no! This is what we call a bird's eye view. You know. Ooh. Like... 
bam, 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 bam. <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> Uh, so my first hobby stream is well tomorrow i'm going to be doing uh, a stream with uh, metal maniac and we're going to be uh discussing dread oh masterpiece brilliant wonderful film uh and then uh thursday i'm going to do a uh hobby stream optimus prime build oh my god miss marvel's trending well, clearly, there's only one solution. <laughs> <laughs> there's Mueller. Yeah, he still has, you know, maybe he'll make it later, but I don't think so. Do you know the beauty of this this scene is the angle of the camera, which just shows how much room there is to go around. I know, around. it's so... Know. Yeah, and remember how many people were saying Deborah Chow was just this de genius because she was a girl <laughs> who managed to fucking direct two, ep to like two episodes of television? They're like, Deborah Chow is the future of fucking Star Wars. Uh, yeah, when you had John Favreau like over your shoulder every second, I, I imagine it was a little better. But she's on her own on this one. Favreau's kind of do it, doing everything from the office, apparently. Uh, and um, it really sucks. It's like some of the worst directing I have seen. It's, in, it's, uh, the, the film's it's Disney terrible. Plus. The series is terrible. I yeah, mean, I, I'm talking all of Disney+. Plus. I'm talking every stupid fucking Marvel show I have watched, because I've watched them all twice. Minimum of twice to review them. Oh. probably why i'm a little bit on edge it's yeah I was, I was gonna say no it's wonder you need more caffeine gary Jesus. i've watched Christ. disney plus and they suck they are so bad at what they oh. do so uh yeah um i can't imagine oh, obi-wan's gonna get better uh maybe they'll have a better choreographed lightsaber duel later that'll make everybody forget about everything uh but i won't they're supposed to because um the rumor there's two rumors going around that a they're gonna fight again and well, yeah. be that it's going to be 10 episodes, not six. Disney what? have said that there's going to be, well, no, there's six episodes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Disney have said that uh, there are two fights between Obi Wan and yeah. Yeah. Darth Vader. Yeah, I heard some rumor that apparently it might be eight or 10 episodes. I'm not sure if that's true, but six. Okay. And this show is getting like fucking crushed. You absolutely don't... crushed by everybody. Yeah. By Netflix. Yeah. It's oh, so obvious yeah. why they did the race baiting. Because yeah. it's yeah. it was everything to deflect from the uh, absolutely appalling show. Yep. Do you think that like they saw that it was really shitty and they're like, oh no, like this, we have to release it because we said we would and it's terrible. So we got we gotta like do something. We gotta do yeah something. yeah. I do. I I think they they realized it was god awful. <clears throat> uh, they realized it was cannon breaking in multiple different ways. You know, cannon breaking with Leia, cannon breaking with Obi leaving the planet, cannon breaking with the uh, duels going on between Obi Wan and Darth Vader, all these different things uh, that were completely cannon breaking. They knew it wouldn't get a good reaction from Star Wars fans. They know how vocal we've all been. I'm not oh, putting no. that on the fucking screen. Uh, and uh, yeah, they were just like, okay, uh, we need to manufacture some sort of. Yeah controversy to deflect from the Absolute. fact that this is terrible this is their job this is what marketing departments do they think of strategies to uh maximize the uh the profits of their piece of shit mm. uh, they're either good movie or their piece of shit and they they know what they're doing i mean like this is the one thing i agree with ryan disney is very very good at marketing they, they are extremely good at it uh, the, I'd say the greatest marketing I've ever seen is Black Panther turning that fucking mediocre movie into a cultural movement. Mm. So they've tried to to replicate that with everything they do. There has to be meaning behind it. This isn't just a crappy Disney Plus show. It's a movement. And I mean, it's it's had diminishing returns. Believe me, they tried it with Captain Marvel. It was it made a billion dollars. It made a billion dollars by vilifying the critics. They made it a movement, so people were actually going to to the movie to to piss off the Jeremys. They're like, "I'll get those Jeremys. I'll give Disney money." You know, I mean, that's that's what it is. Them. And and hey, it made them money. It worked. 
it worked, but it's working less and less because a lot of us stayed on it. You know, a lot of people fell off over the last couple of years for whatever reason, that's fine. But a lot of us stayed on it. And that's how, that's how you win over the normie. Uh, it's, it's, it can get a bit of repetitive and it can get long, but that's how you have to do it. That's what she said. Also, um, yeah, I was one of those. I'm I'm checked out of Disney Star Wars. I'm sorry, guys. I just can't do it anymore. I was like, uh, oh, this, this is it. This is fucking was- it for Star Wars until they remake <laughs> so the original trilogy, which I have been saying since they bought it. Since they fucking bought it, and I'm gonna be right one of these days. Damn. It. I mean, they may as well have already, Gary. Like that. That like the oh, first their, one that's, was basically that's like their last everything. card to pull. Okay. I'll ask objectively. What is their next card to play? Now they've brought out Darth Vader and Obi Wan. So, outside of remaking, like we'll just say the the one through six. Okay, we'll we'll be kind to the prequel fans, but let's honest. Let's be honest. It's the original trilogy. Um, what else do they have that would make a billion dollars at the box office? I don't know about a billion, Kathleen but maybe Kennedy committing seppuku. <laughs> I don't know about like making money, but they have uh, maybe like making the video games like Kotor and stuff like that into Disney but, Plus shows. So okay, Possibly. but like as far as like box office draw for a film that will make a billion dollars because Disney films need to make a billion dollars or they don't got losers. nothing, man. I mean, Kenobi should have been a movie. Kenobi yeah. should have been a theatrical. I'm sure. It, I'm sure it was to start with, just like Boba Fett. I'm sure they were announced as movies to begin with. And then um, they and turn then into was. these, this, this utter, right. This, you know what this is? This, this, this Disney, it's just content for Disney I'm Plus. It's this predator. Literally I just thought just that, that consumer. <laughs> it's consume, consume, consume. There's no thought. There's no fucking attention. There's no love. There's no soul in any of this whatsoever that putting out. I am absolutely fascinated by Kenobi. Fascinated in how can it be this bad? How can it well, be this bad? How can it be this badly written? Everything. It, how can it be this badly directed? How can it be this law breaking? It is literally fascinating to see. And then Disney come out and go, um, don't be racist and stuff, <laughs> maybe. And stuff. Oh, and please subscribe to our pay service. Yeah. Hey, racist, racist give bigot. us money. You're all racist, by, but by give us way, money. Have Disney ever addressed shrinking John Boyega on the Chinese poster? Have Disney no. ever Mm-mm. addressed covering up Chadwick Boseman's face in the Black Mm-mm. Panther no. Chinese poster? No. No, they have not. I like how the like the MCU stands and like the Star Wars stands like always trying to make excuses for that. And they're like, well, it's just the Chinese market. And it's like, oh, so you don't think Disney would have any say until what goes into the Chinese market? Yeah, so like- let me get this straight. You're you're calling me out because we're calling or us, we're calling out like female characters and, and race and gender swap characters that have no agency whatsoever. They're just these fucking cardboard cutouts to be race and gender swap characters and saying hey there's plenty of original characters that you place that with and you're defending them covering up a black man's face in an entire country with billions of people yeah and it's it's so weird your fucking brain work yeah the way that they do it too is like they feel so like morally on like the high ground and are like they're they're so justified in their beliefs these are adults um, with infant minds our racism is acceptable your racism is not acceptable. We're yeah, not racist. Like, We're defending the characters which are getting shafted. Okay. Our racism is acceptable. <laughs> yeah. This is China, and they're, like, racist towards it's black people. Like, so it's friends. fine. And my so mom we, said we the money, so. that I can be whatever I want to be. Ooh. Look at that. Wait, like I'm getting messed up. Get messed up. Fuck up. Do you guys want to see something really creepy? I don't oh, know. I was boy. watching. I was watching creepy, spooky stuff all last night. I don't know Ooh. if I'll be creeped out. Well, I mean, aside from what the, yeah, that's creepy. 
That's fucking creepy, man. That's fucking creepy. That looks what like is I happening? Got, like injected in the ass with smile axe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just need to smile more, Gary. Oh my god. Also, I, I this on. this this killed me. Uh, shout out Uber Geek because babies. He's always Uber on Geek. Me. Nice muff. <laughs> that's a muff. Nina. That's what your muff looks like. Holy shit. I hey, I'm tiled. I just had it stuffed like yesterday. Tiled. Lord have mercy on your husband. <laughs> uh, Kenobi's bad. It's really, it's really bad. horrifically, awfully bad. And we get another episode tonight. Are you excited? Uh, no. no. I gotta wait till uh, I... five past nine or five past i gotta eight. wait till like uh midnight or something at least your videos are doing well for it right Holy... yes <laughs> so there you go there's some excitement to be had i was not expecting that uh well that's because i think there's a lot of people who are shocked about how look i don't think i mean certainly people in the chat here and people who watch friday night tights watch our stuff i don't think they're particularly surprised to hear that it's not good Mm -mm. But I'm actually surprised at how bad this is. I mean, I this too. is like some bizarre level of just dog shit. I thought that, I mean, this is, I thought they would try on this one. I'm like, this is like their last fucking chance, as. I thought there was going to be yeah. a try here. I legit thought there was going to be a try here. And I, but when you've had three episodes and Kenobi has zero agency, then you know, I get it. I get it. This is again, once again, anti-white male. You're doing it again. You're yeah. so fucking uh, in your own head about not wanting to to make a white male character uh, be heroic and courageous and in control and in charge that you've literally put all these dog shit characters around them, including Leia, who's the dog shit out. in this, to tr to take his agency. To yes. take his agency and do and do the things that he should be doing. And so it comes across as disjointed, and these characters come across as one note because they're literally MacGuffins. It's fucking racist. <laughs> it's it what is. they're doing. It's what they're doing. It's they're sexist. apologetic. It's <laughs> they're apologetic for having a white male character. So the um uh what did I hear your boy Zach going, I think there's a person who checks the box. Yes, yes. It's called a diversity officer. Why do you think, mm. do, what do you think diversity off officers do? Do you think they just hire people? No, they're checking scripts. There are papers being written. There are, there are studies on this mm. being funded by the Roddenberry foundation amongst others that are telling people how to write. And yes, there is paperwork out there. I promise you there's paperwork out there that says, okay, if there's a white male lead, we need to balance it with at least two people of color preferably two women of color but you can insert whatever color you want but blah, 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 blah. there there are restrictions on writing so before a guy can go i got a fucking great story in my head or girl i'm gonna write it down oh no nope, you can't write that nope can't write that either there's like just notes 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 and like notes from the studio were bad before they were always bad before but now they are just uh ridiculous so we have writers self-editing and then you know there's the pandering ones who are cowards uh, who know there's something wrong with, they're not going to fucking say anything. And then there's the people who said stuff, but they're gone now. And it's just this homogenous cult corporate shit that's basically dying of the woke ideology poisoning that they have ingested, that they have, mm -hmm. you know, fucking used Cookie as a... Gorged on, never mind ingested. Gorged, gorged on, on right. suppository, everything. And now the times have changed. They're not, they're not just changing. They have changed. So this stuff that was made two years ago, fucking Rings of Power, a uh, year and a half ago, Kenobi, Miss Marvel, you're even seeing some of the creatives start to distance themselves from it because they know the winds have changed, not changing, have changed. I feel like that's what they did with Stranger Things. Wait. Did Miss Marvel come out last night? Yes, dude. It what did? the fuck? Is oh, wrong didn't even with you? Fuck, didn't even remember. Yes. Well, uh, we should have watched it and reviewed it. Hey, hey uh, Nina, Whoops. can you hold the show for like a half an hour? Well, yeah. As and I watch 
Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll it's the BBC. Round it's the BBC. Two. BBC. Got Holy you. shit. That is how fucking invested I am in that show. Completely forgot it was on. Uh, yeah, and you know what? You know who's grateful? The creators Watch of the party, show. Perry Jam. <laughs> the creators of the show. Ooh, that's kind of a good idea. You want to do that towards the end? Should we just, after the stream, should we just do, do something like that? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's a good idea. Uh, uh, but, uh, like, no, the, the most grateful people for Kenobi and Top Gun are the creators of Miss Marvel. <laughs> yeah. They're like, maybe it'll just fly under the radar. My career will be saved. Uh, by the way, uh, Miss Marvel, uh, total pile of crap. Um, what happened was they hired Basha K. Ali. <laughs> Basha K. Ali uh, wrote a first draft of a script, thought she was Rianne Johnson, and fucked off to Netflix. <laughs> My work here is done. <laughs> My work here is done. There is the first draft. Feminist My work here is done. Uh oh. No. We got rid of the chick. Yeah. It's Just the OG <laughs> Posse. Sausage party. Where'd she go? Did the Mexican internet go down? Uh, yeah, I don't know if there were there were storms going on there. Did, Maybe. Did, did Cartel Plus? <laughs> the mosquito got her. <laughs> the mosquito got her. Beat the shit out of her. <laughs> Where'd you go, Nina? Um. Okay, where was that? Uh, Bishop Ali. Basha K. Ali. Um, one draft. One draft wonder. One draft wonder. Uh, the feminist comedian who has no stand-up specials anywhere has a podcast that you can listen to, but I don't recommend you do that because you'll want to stick nails or pencils or just sharp objects in your ear, which I don't recommend. Um, and yeah. A lot of people were left holding the bag on this, uh, and, and it's just it's just bad. It's just bad through and through, and it's bad through and through, uh, largely why everything else is bad through and through. Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige has a lot of uh, responsibilities now, kind of like John Favreau at Star Wars. So he's he's governing from an office, right? And he's trying to act like a creative. And at least John Favreau was a creative. No excuses. Disney Star Wars sucks. Uh, Kevin Feige was a producer. Doesn't write, doesn't doesn't have character concepts. Can't probably can't even draw. Um, and he's running absolutely everything now with like this iron fist, uh, with the Disney will of, you know, if uh, even if they want to say, hey, this is a, a Muslim character, well, let's show some of the problems that they would have within their family, for example, living here in America, teenage girl wanting to go out and do stuff. Uh just a quick FYI, dude. Ms. Marvel is the eighth, not the sixth. So it's out tomorrow. Okay, good. Why is it trending then? Glad we didn't miss that. Oof. Uh, but but um, so like that I would like be Ms. that would be something probably a writer would want to explore. Even a Muslim writer would want to explore. It's like, hey, you know, there's things I want to do that my religious my religion won't let me do in this country and the conflict that that creates, you know. Nope. Disney's like, nah, no. Nah. Nah, but, don't, do any but then you'd have to be you'd have to like we all wanted to be a superhero when we we're a kid yeah. because we're, we were the idea of being rah, flying and kicking the bad guys in was night but in reality a hero is driven by much more than just that absolutely and so you need to if you wanted to do something like that then you would have to explore the fantasy of the hero versus the reality of the hero and then the reality of the hero as to why you want to be that hero. Call to action. Call to action. It's a big thing. And it's not just because I want to be a superhero because people pick on me in high school. And like, that's how we all felt. But like, what if that actually happened? That could be an interesting thing. Uh, and, and if you want to be serious about it, uh, maybe her call to action is she does something like Spider-Man and uses her powers and gets somebody like hurt really bad. Like, like some carry shit or whatever. Uh, also, uh, they've changed their powers to like more of a magic based powers. And, you know, I am no expert on the Muslim religion. No mean, uh, I don't mean to disrespect, but I, I I've heard that there are some people who think that is against their religion. I don't know if that's fact or not, but say it is. Why not explore that? Why not 
have these superpowers within a Muslim family, and they're like, what? And they have to deal with, you know, magic and stuff. See? Interesting concepts to make your character interesting, especially an uninterest, uninteresting character like Miss Marvel, which is like a, a derivative character to the ninth degree or tenth degree. And I'm not kidding, by the way. It's ninth or tenth. I'm not quite sure. If we mix in DC with the Captain Marvels, it gets in the 14 or 15 derivative. But no, uh, no, nah, nah, it's just going to be a bland thing about this amazing girl with this amazing family with some nondescript bad guys. And they're all going to be friends. They're going to be the bestest ever. It might be a. It might be as bad as Gotham Knights, which could be the biggest train wreck we've ever seen. I think. I think Gotham Knights is shaping up to be the biggest pile of fecal matter spread all over the fucking walls that uh, has come out of the CW. Yeah, I think. Um, Dude, I think that could like really end superheroes, dude. I'm not I'm not over exaggerating there. When, when we're going to this point, for one, shouldn't we be way beyond trench coats and teenagers at this point? Shouldn't it be like it, it seems like we, we are going backwards? Uh we're definitely going backwards. Watch the first episode of Arrow. Just the first episode yeah. of Arrow. Oh my god, it was and so good. And then watch an episode of then watch the trailer for Gotham Knights. We're going way backwards, dude. Watch the first episode of Daredevil on Netflix. <laughs> then watch the first episode of Gotham Knights. Oh, Daredevil is apparent. getting a Disney Plus show. It's gonna suck. That's gonna that's gonna be going to suck. Uh, if they were serious about it, they would ask Drew Goddard to come back and give him full control because he's the one who had full control of season one of Daredevil. Disney uh, Plus just puts out trash. CW just puts out trash. That's true. What, what, what is Gotham Knights trying trash. to achieve? What is it trying to do? Oh! Oh! The Gotham Knights Twitter account had to put out a tweet saying we have nothing to do with the video game. In other words, the video game people said, from the video game contacted them and said, "You better fucking make sure that people don't think that we are associated with you." Not... We're not. <laughs> they sell pulled some a Zack Snyder on them. <laughs> I don't want to play that. You know what? I'm so fucking sick of fucking Batman's dead. Give me a Batman game. I don't give a fuck about anything else. We're I'm tired of peripheral Batman. I'm done. I'm over. I don't care about anything peripheral Batman. As a matter of fact, I want the entire Batman family to die and just be Batman left. Fucking sick of them all. 